Welcome to this tutorial on the information processing theory. Every second of every day, we are exposed to thousands of stimuli. Our brain takes in information through sight, sound, smell, and touch. These are known as the senses. Sounds are picked up by the echoic memory, and images are picked up by the iconic memory. This information is then transferred to the sensory memory. Only when we pay particular attention to a particular sense is it then transferred from our sensory memory to our short-term memory. Our short-term memory contains information about what we see and hear in this present moment in time. The short-term memory has a very limited storage capacity and cannot permanently hold this information. Your long-term memory, on the other hand, is exactly the opposite. It is large and permanently stores information. The process of getting information from your short to your long-term memory is called encoding. Encoding is when you create a connection between the memories you already have and the new memories received. The processing of getting memories out of your long-term memory and back into your short-term memory for use is called retrieval. When our short-term memory experiences a large number of senses, it can become overwhelmed. When this happens, we use a process called selective attention. This filters out the messages that are not important to us, allowing us to focus on those that are. When considering the concept of multitasking, we realize that it is possible to do visual and auditory tasks at the same time, for example, talking and walking. However, we cannot do two visual or auditory tasks at the same time, for example, reading two books or watching two TV shows. Yes, if we do this, some information may get through, but it will be limited. Finally, when our senses receive a message, a search happens to determine what the response to the message will be. For example, when you bang your head, the search and response may be to sit down or call for help. Search and response organizes your actions, telling your body exactly what to do. Feedback is then received through observation to check if the response was effective. If you view a response as being effective, it will then be stored in your long-term memory for future use. Thank you for watching this video on information processing theory. Please like and subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with our new content.